Question 5. In this question, students are being asked to explore the relationship between two variables. These variables are column A and column B. The goal is to use Excel techniques, two types of Excel techniques, to explore this relationship. The first is a scatter plot, which gives you a graphic visualization of the relationship between the two columns of information. And the second method is the trend line, which gives you a straight line that depicts the relationship between column A and column B. In the case that I'm looking at, I'm being asked to explore the relationship between work experience and vacation hours. Basically, what happens to vacation hours when work experience increase or changes? That is the purpose of this analysis. And we're going to use two visualization techniques, as I earlier on mentioned, scatter plot and trend line, to achieve that. And then after that, we basically describe the relationship, whether it's a positive relationship or negative relationship. And if it's a positive, what does we mean by a positive relationship? So to do this in Excel, you go to data, select data analysis, and you have all the methods as we alluded to. The method that we looked at is correlation. But before we do that, we need to provide a visualization of this relationship. And the visualization requires that you select, highlight the entire data, the two data. You highlight them. And after they've been highlighted or selected, we go to insert and click on the chart type called a scatter plot. And this is what we really needed to create our scatter plot. So when you click on scatter plot and select the first chart, you have what is known as your scatter plot, which explore the relationship between X and Y. So you have your work experience and your vacation hours being visually described in this chart, on this chart. So the trend line, which is the second requirement for this question, requires you to draw a straight line to depict the relationship between the column A and column B information. So to do that, you just click on any of the dotted point and then all the dot to be selected, right mouse click on that, right mouse click and select add trend line. And here you go. You have your add trend line. Just close that. And this basically gives an indication as to whether the trend is depicting a positive or a negative relationship. So you have your scatter plot, which is a dotted point which indicate a, a positive relationship. And you also have your trend line, which is a straight line, providing you a summary of this relationship. So in a description part of this, you have to indicate the direction of the relationship, whether it's a positive direction, or it, you have it as a negative direction. And what do we mean by a negative direction? Or a positive direction. I'll refer you to the course notes, the lecture point notes, refer to the description of what a positive direction is, and uh, to give you a brief of what that is. If you found the relationship to be a positive one, then that means an increase in work experience is will lead to an increase in vacation hours. What that means is a positive direction will ensure that an increase in X variable will lead to an increase in your Y variable. If you have it as a negative direction, then what happens is 
an increase in your x variable will lead to a decrease in your y variable so some students may have a positive relationship others may have a negative relationship and it's worthwhile to provide a full description of the nature of this relationship and you can use the template information that i've got in the powerpoint slide to help you explore and describe this type of relationship